Okay, so there are three main types of angles that you can find in parallel lines. The first type is called corresponding. So it might look something like this, okay? So these are our parallel lines here, okay? And the corresponding angles will um, sit in the same place on the top set of angles and the bottom set of angles, okay? So that is an example of corresponding angles. Sometimes corresponding angles are known, denoted by F, because if you draw along the angles that they make, you can't say so ours looks like an upside down F, but if they're done the other way, they, they can be known as F. The second type is called alternate or alternate angles. So if we draw our things looking relatively similar, it'll help us. So alternate angles generally are in the middle and they sort of go, um, uh, they're alternate to each other. So they're kind of like on the opposite side to each other. Okay, so they sit in the middle, but on opposite sides of that middle line. And these are sometimes called Z, because if I go across that angle and across this angle, alternate angles are sometimes called um, Z angles. All right, the last type is called co-interior. So as the name kind of suggests, they're on the inside. And these would be our co-interior angles. So they're both on the inside, but on the same side. So unlike alter, al alternate angles that are on the inside, but on opposite sides, these are on the inside, but on the same side. Okay, so these are sometimes called C. I mean, I've done it on the opposite side, but if it had been on the other side, it's kind of like, a C symbol, okay? So they're the three different types. Now, corresponding angles, they're always going to be equal, okay? So they're um, equal in size. Alternate angles are equal in size. Co-interior angles are not equal in size. They have to add to 180 degrees, okay? So this angle and this angle make up 180. Whereas these are the same and these are the same, okay? So they are the three types of angles in parallel lines.